English conversation students learn how to speak by speaking. And I have often thought of ways to give opportunities to students to teach. Many times they're by themselves. Uh, they don't have the luxury of studying one-on-one -on -one with a native speaker. So how can we help them to facilitate an easy way to develop conversation skills? And here is one suggestion that I have. I call it um, English karaoke. And I will show you how I would suggest a student of mine follow through with this. Um, students at, at my website, basically there is a 40-hour progressive course focusing on patterns. And we start in the first 15 lessons with the simple patterns, with verbs, adjectives, and nouns, and then combining those with more sophisticated and more dynamic patterns used in conversation to express feelings. One of the problems that most uh, beginning students face is that they feel that vocabulary is the most important um, aspect of learning a language. If they learn to learn a lot of vocabulary, they'll be able to speak well. But in fact, conversation is built on how you express your feelings, and feelings are expressed through patterns. Uh, these patterns we unconsciously use when we speak, and um, it's a hidden, subtle communication tool that we use to express ourselves. Uh, students who have studied for years are often frustrated by their inability to speak, their inability to express themselves, even though they know a lot of vocabulary. So how I help them to overcome this obstacle of not being able to speak is to force them to speak. And how, do, how, how is one way I do that? Uh, with these 40 hours, they begin at the beginning to, to learn how to make questions from s simple patterns. And uh, what, what I do is, um, for example, let's go to hour five. Um, there is a variety of different lessons in here which um, you can take a look at. But for the beginning student, um, the ones that have P as a suffix at the end, is relating to photos that um, I use to stimulate conversation. And if they turn these on, usually there are at least uh, 200 questions in each. They all go from 45 minutes to an hour long. And what I tell the students to do is to turn off the sound let me make this bigger here. Turn off the sound and turn on the captions. There is The captions come up, as you see on the bottom. The student simply reads the caption. Is it okay if she doesn't want to use it? And then they answer it. It's okay if she doesn't want to use it. Does she need to use it every day? Then they answer, she needs to use it every day. Are you thinking of getting the same umbrella? I am thinking of getting the same umbrella. As you see, a new question comes up here. Once they ask the question, they then answer the question. The questions will continue to come up. I have extended the, the captions here so that the 
Caption stays up until the next question is, a is asked. You'll find this throughout the whole time. For example, this is a 49-minute video. And the questions re relate to the pictures seen in the YouTube video. Can she reach all the keys? She can reach all the keys. Then the next question comes up. On purpose during these um, exercises, I reinforce patterns that they learned from the beginning. For example, this particular um, um, series is reviewing patterns that they learned 1 to 5, reinforcing what they've already learned. The first time they use a pattern, they stumble a bit with it. The more they use it, the more it becomes a part of themselves. The more they speak, have the words roll off their tongue, they begin to hear more, and they gain a great deal of confidence. So that generally, there are at least three of these sections in, in each of the hours that we have. And as we go on from the easy patterns learned here, there's only about you know five to ten patterns learn per hour. Uh, as we build, um, we go into more uh, difficult patterns. But uh, once again, we do introduce the students to these. But at the end, notice that you have the three hours of patterns that they can use. Once again, just like they go to a karaoke room to practice their singing skills. Here they practice their English speaking skills. As you notice, the, the, the sentences and questions will become longer because we're getting into more complex patterns. In the beginning, we learned the easy patterns. This is beginning to reinforce patterns. Once again, the caption stays on until the new question comes up. So the question, the sound is muted so that the student can practice their question-making skills while at the same time being able to practice their sentence-making skills. And this goes on for the full time period. The um, questions all relate to things in the photos that they're watching. And once again, the attempt here is to, to um, give the student an opportunity to speak. I try to get away from any type of a program where the student is not put in a situation that they have to respond. Um, in most of the lessons, as you see here, um, all of the lessons here are in fact forcing them to speak, except for the introduction where I introduce the patterns. But after every um, introduction, it's all After the introduction, it is all attempts to help the student to speak. Everyone makes mistakes. Part of learning to speak is learning to make mistakes, learn through the mistakes, and gain confidence. You gain confidence by speaking. And by this version of a karaoke type of approach to to um, learning, if you turn the captions off, they both can increase their ability to develop their question-making skills and at the same time answer. As they progress, they may want to turn the captions on and at that point you will hear me actually See, uh, uh, voice the question that you see here. 
Once again, the caption stays on until the next answer a question is made. And then they simply either repeat the question in the time allowed to answer or answer the question. Um, question making skills are more difficult than sentence making skills. If they're able to make a question, it really accelerates their ability to make questions pro uh, sentences properly. So the focus here is to help the student to talk, to gain confidence, to develop their skills. They do not have the ability to always be with a native speaker. But the focus is to help them recognize these patterns through which conversation is made. Much like when people sing songs, they express emotions while singing. With conversation, people are expressing their emotions. And the emotions are not expressed mainly through individual vocabulary words, but through patterns. So this attempt at English karaoke helps them to develop their confidence and their ability to express their feelings. Thank you.